a landmark meeting between top executives of American Airlines and Sandals Resorts International took place at the American Airlines headquarters in Dallas, Texas, and comes at a time when the regional tourism and hospitality sector, along with several CARICOM governments, are working hard to restore airlift to the Caribbean after the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic. This is the first time American Airlines, one of the world's largest airline companies, has hosted a Caribbean hotel company for such a meeting and executive chairman of Sandals Resorts International, Adam Stewart, highlighted that this is part of Sandals' ongoing efforts to help drive the recovery of the regional tourism sector. The discussions between American Airlines and Sandals Resorts International revolved around growth, the expansion of air service, how American Airlines can provide more flights to the Caribbean, and strengthen their efforts in the region. Meanwhile, Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, stated at a media conference that the reopening of Trinidad and Tobago's borders remains scheduled for mid-July that we are taking steps to reopen our border with some caution and conditions, and that would take place in the second week of July. Caribbean Airlines, the national airline of Trinidad and Tobago, is making the necessary preparations for the reopening of the borders set for July 17, 2021. In a recent media release, the airline revealed its commercial flight schedule. This schedule will be introduced on a phased basis, starting with operations between Trinidad and Tobago and the Eastern Caribbean on July 17th, alongside the restart of operations to New York, Miami, and Toronto. Customers are reminded that the airline's current travel safety protocols remain in place, including the mandatory wearing of face masks during check-in, while boarding, and for the duration of their flight. Krista Campbell, GBN News.